Hey Taurus, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Wednesday, February 10th. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. The heart of your reading, we have the Ten of Swords. You're not worried about it anymore. You're letting it go. And that's a major victory. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're proud of yourself. You're giving yourself a pat on the back like, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. Challenge is King of Cups in reverse. This is either someone who didn't give you the love that you felt like you deserved, or it's someone who you feel like you should have expressed your feelings more to them. You might be, uh, in, in that latter scenario, it feels like you would have been... What's the word for this? Like kicking yourself? Like it pops up in your memory like, oh, why didn't I just tell them how I felt? You're letting it go. So I feel like that would have been something a while back. Like you don't have an opportunity with that person anymore. It's not like you can go tell them how you feel now or wouldn't have the same, you wouldn't have the same opportunity again. Yeah. You're letting it go. What are my Torians focused on? Two of Wands in reverse. You're not worried about making a plan right now. You're just fine where you are. Show me the recent past. Four of Swords in reverse, Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're just fine where you are. It's like you have everything that you need. You have everything that you want. You're engaged with life. And you're feeling good. It's that feeling that's positioning you to be able to let go. Let go of resentment for someone who wasn't there for you or let go of wishing you would have expressed your feelings to that certain person when you had the chance. The energy of the environment, we have the Four of Cups reversed and Judgment. This is returning to a time when you're emotionally engaged. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think of another way to describe the energy that they're giving me. It's like when the next opportunity presents itself, you're not going to let it slip by again. You're going to tell them how you feel. Because you have eliminated that self-defeating behavior. In the near future, we have the devil in reverse. No more obstacles for you. No more getting in your own way or self-defeating behavior. Self-defeating beliefs. 
They wouldn't want to hear from me anyway. There's no way that they're going to feel the same way about me. Those sort of beliefs that stop you from even expressing how you feel. Show me surprise energy for Taurus. Fool in reverse. Are you getting ready to go on an adventure? Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune reversed at the bottom of the deck. I think you're getting ready. You're getting ready to be ready. You're feeling like you're, you're getting the sense, correctly so, that you're wrapping up an old cycle. So instinctively, energetically, you're gearing up for something exciting, something new. Oh, they want to clarify the fool. Oh. There, okay. There's going to be some big change up in your finances or your home situation. You might be moving, possibly temporarily. Yeah, most likely temporarily. Like an extended vacation or for a few months living somewhere else. Show me hopes and fears for Taurus. What is Taurus hopeful for? What are they concerned about? Um, you don't want to let go of home base. Four of Pentacles. You have a set of circumstances in which you feel most comfortable. Um, most likely that's representative of your home. When I'm at home, I have everything that I need. I know where everything is. I'm stocked up with all of the things that I like. And maybe going on this adventure away from my, my, my the safety, the security, the comfort of my own home base is a bit... Um, the idea of it might be a bit off-putting. That could be why the fool is showing up reversed. Like, I'm excited about doing this, but do I really want to leave the comforts of home? Mm. I don't know, it looks like you're going to do it. The energy of the end result, we have the tower in reverse. You're going to take some sort of sudden action. Im you're impulsive. What is this impulsive decision? Ooh, six of swords. You're going to leave home base. But uh, it's not going to be a, a very uh, long, drawn-out process. It's like, all right, I'm packing and I'm going. I'm going on this adventure and or in pursuit of my new life because you're just done. Some of you, this might be not just in pursuit of fun and adventure. You might be leaving a negative situation because the former energy that I was picking up on from this King of Cups is someone who wasn't there for you, someone who doesn't express how they feel and you're like, I'm letting it go. I'm just letting it go. Now, letting it go can mean I'm just done with this relationship. That's a possibility here as well. In which case, you are uh, cutting ties with a codependent partner. Getting ready, like one foot out the door. I'm planning to leave home. Not really wanting to lose the security of a, a comfortable home base, but making the 
the spur of the moment decision, like, okay, it's right now. It could happen in the midst of an argument, if that's your story. Like, all of a sudden, just something happens that pushes you over the edge. Like, do you know what? I've, I'm halfway prepared to go, but now is the time. If you know, if you're already planning on leaving, I feel like that could be your story. This is an advice to leave a situation if you hadn't already been planning on that. Show me advice for Taurus. King of Wands. You are in control of your own destiny here. You are the one calling the shots, nobody else. Don't look to anyone else to make the decision for you. Don't look to anyone else to, to stop you. It's like once you decide you're doing it, you're doing it. Taurus, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.